Hi, thanks for joining me today. I'm Tina Carini with spongeandstamp.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. So today is an exciting day for stampers because the kickoff of celebration started today, January 3rd, and it will go through March 31st. This, if you're not familiar with it at all, Celebration is like the best time ever, I think. it For every $50 that you spend, you get to choose an item from this brochure. There are some really amazing, cool items in here. There's stamp sets. You can choose an organdy ribbon combo pack, which coordinates with the Gingham Gala. It is, uh, you get five colors, five yards each and that's a lot of ribbon that you can have so much fun with then there's some more stamp sets by the bay home to roost you get uh, you can choose foil paper in grapefruit grove or lovely lipstick so happy together this is a super fun stamp set and i will be doing a youtube on that one sometime this week we're going to be using part of my story. We're going to use a sentiment from here. A lovely lattice, which is really cool too. You can choose a card kit. And then we have a level two. For every $100 that you purchase, you can choose the tea time framelits, which coordinate with time for tea, not time for tea, but um, it's on page 49. What is the name of it? Tea Together, which is a gorgeous Mother's Day um, themed set. Of course, you can use it for anything other than Mother's Day, but that is really gorgeous. And that those framelits coordinate with that. So with a $100 purchase, you could choose that. Or you could choose the Lasting Lilies. Or if you didn't want any of those, you could choose two $50 items. So this is about celebration here. This is so much fun. And then this is the new occasions catalog. And we are going to be working with part of this suite right here, Gingham Gala. We're going to be using the Butterfly Gala stamp set, the Gingham Gala designer series paper, the Whisper White flax ribbon, and the Butterfly Duet Punch. And I'm using the Heather Highland, not High. Highland Heather from this cardstock pack right there. And this is a super, super fun set as well. I've been having a lot of fun with it. This is the designer series paper. You get five colors. They're six by six, 40 sheets all together. And there's one missing and I, up oh, there it is. And, um, there's eight in each color. So it's Lemon Lime Twist, Highland Heather, Daffodil Delight, Grapefruit Grove, and Balmy Blue. And I love the Grapefruit Grove. It is so bright and so happy. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with our card here. We are gonna be using Highland Heather cardstock, which is 11 by four and a quarter, scored at four, five and a half. I have a stri strip of Balmy Blue Gingham Gala. We're going to use the smaller gingham size. Oh, I forgot to show you that there is, they're double sided. One side is the large gingham and then the other side is the small gingham. So we're going to be using the small side. I have a scrap piece of Whisper White for stamping and punching. And the inside of the card, <coughs> excuse me, that is what is this, five and a quarter by four. That's gonna go on the inside. And then the free stamp set that we're gonna be using is part of my story. This is such a super, super fun um, stamp set with all different greetings on it. Some really cute fonts. I love Let's Get Together and Giggle. And then we're gonna be using I'm So Glad You Are Part of My Story. I'm really sorry you guys, I have a bad bug and my throat keeps getting tickled on me. So if I cough or pause, that is why. 
and I'm taking a sip of water to try to ease it. Okay, so we are gonna go ahead and move this out of the way. Oh, and I have a strip of the flax, of the Whisper White flax ribbon. I'm gonna go ahead and move that out of the way. I already have our butterfly that we're gonna use. We're gonna be using this butterfly right here. But aren't these super fun? I love this one. And these two here are kind of a, um, I'm sorry, this one and this one are, are a cross with this. Or this is a cross with those. And then you can do some two-step stamping if you don't want to color. We're going to color our butterflies today. We're going to be using Balmy Blue and Highland Heather Stampin' Blends. There are alcohol-based markers. But you can two-step them. You can do them different colors, the bottom and the top, um, different colors with the smaller butterflies, or you can solid stamp it. Um, you have your bodies and your antennas and beautiful, beautiful fonts as well. This is a super fun stamp set. So I have these mounted. We're gonna bring in our Memento Black, Tuxedo Black ink. And I am going to just ink this up and I'm going to stamp it a couple times or actually I just need to stamp it once because I've already pre-cut or punched out and colored some of our butterflies. Okay, so we've got that and now I'm going to go ahead and ink up our sentiment here and I'm just using the Tuxedo Black ink. And I'm gonna stamp it right there. And that looks pretty good to me. I'm taking the two inch circle punch and I am just gonna punch this out right here. Kind of center that in there. Punch that out, that's ready to go. And now we are just going to color. I am using the dark balmy blue and the light Highland Heather. Oh, before we do that, let's go ahead and stamp our bodies on here, and we are going to use the Tuxedo Black Memento ink again, and I am just going to stamp on here the body for the big one, and turn it over, and stamp the body for the little one. There we go. Pretty simple, huh? Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and get busy with the stamping. I'm going to start with Balmy Blue. And I'm going to color the center of the butterfly just in balmy blue. Just like that. And then I'm going to bring in the Highland Tether. And I'm just going to kind of brush that through. been a really nasty bug that I've had since Christmas. I woke up Christmas morning with it and I have had a time. Okay, just do this like so. And then let's bring back in the balmy blue and color these little dots right here on the tips of the butterfly wings. This is just a really kind of quick and simple card, but very, very pretty, I think. There's nothing really fancy about it. Oh, that didn't stamp very well. Oh, okay. That is all right. I already have one punched out. We'll just use it. Okay, so there we go. We have that. Oops, I want to do the center. So we're going to just do the center. There's no um, specific way that I'm doing it. I'm just kind of putting in some color into the center. And then I'm going to bring in the Highland Heather here. And just kind of Okay, and then flip this around. There we go. 
I love our stamping, stampin' blends. They are so awesome and they really make me feel like an artist. Like I can really color well. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna bring in our butterfly duet punch here. And I'm gonna do my best to line this up. Aren't these butterflies beautiful? They are so pretty. Hopefully I have this right. Okay, so we've got that and we've got that. We've got our sentiment that's punched out. Our butterfly, since this one's kind of didn't stamp right, we're gonna bring this one in. Then we have these two right here that we're gonna use as well. I'm gonna bring in our cardstock. It's already pre-scored, so I'm just gonna fold it down and give it a burnishing here and bring in our gingham designer series paper and I'm going to put some glue on the back of this I probably put a little more than I needed but I'm just gonna kind of put it in the center I think right about there it looks pretty good and pretty straight to me and then we're going to trim off our excess here that we have. Just give that a little trim like that. Then we have our strip of white, Whisper White Flax. And I'm going to set that down right about there. But I think I'm going to flag the end. Or at least I'm going to try. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but I am certainly going to try this and I don't have the sharpest scissors but that looks pretty good so I'm going to take a glue dot kind of glue this down a little bit oh, did one stick to my finger no nope. okay and another one right here and I am going to just put that down right about there and then we're going to pop up our sentiment. And I am just using my minis because I don't, I think I ran out of my, my larger ones. So I'm just going to use my fingernail and kind of push down in the center to help lift up the corners because sometimes these guys can be little boogers to come off. And I'm just going to center that right about there. I'm going to fluff up my butterflies. Isn't this card coming along really quick? I'm telling you, it's a really simple card to make. I'm going to use the big butterfly. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and use some glue dots. And then we're just going to place this butterfly right about there flip it up and then we're gonna use another glue dot here right there and I think I'm gonna oh I do have one on uh oh I had one on my thumb please don't tear our butterfly there we go okay I am gonna put this one right there and one more here, another glue dot, and we're going to put this one right there. So there you go. That's the outside of our card. Now we're going to do the inside, and I'm going to show you something. Hopefully I can get this to work right on camera, but I just wanted to have a couple little butterflies just around the bottom here and because these are spaced far enough apart you can just stamp one of them isn't that cool I think it's so cool some of the simplest things just make me so excited and we're gonna stamp that down oh shoot I forgot to clean that off 
you must clean it off first. <laughs> Don't do what I just did. Oh, let's get another piece of cardstock out here. Trim it up real fast. Five and a quarter. Five and four. Okay, I probably could just flip that over too. That was, except for my blade isn't trimming right, so I don't like the way that looks. Okay, I'm gonna clean this off. We don't wanna do that again. Make sure that you clean your your um, your stamp off before you stamp down like that. That was not very smart. Okay, so now I'm gonna try this one more time here. I promise you it is very easy. There we go. So now I'm just gonna place my butterfly right about there. There we go, much better. Well, that wasn't, okay. We'll just clean that off real good again. Stamp it down, make sure it's clean. Well, everything is sticking to me today. My throat feels like I have a frog and everything is sticking. Maybe I should have done so hoppy for you today. <laughs> okay, there we go. And one more, and we'll just put that right there. There we go. So you can leave it like that, or you can color them if you want to, but I think I'm going to leave it just like that because I really like the black and the white. So now we're just going to put some glue on this. And I do believe it is time to change my blades on my trimmer. And we're going to center this on there. Just like that. And then there's our card. I'm so glad you are part of my story. So that is using the brand new, one of the brand new stamp sets, Butterfly Gala from the Occasions catalog. And we also used a free stamp set with a $50 purchase before tax and shipping from the Celebration brochure. If you do not have a demonstrator and you would like to have the Occasions Catalog and the Celebration brochure, please message me and I will be sure to get one out to you as soon as possible. They are gorgeous and a lot of fun. And also, check me out on my blog, spongeandstamp.com and you can find me on Facebook as well under Sponge and Stamp with Tina. Uh, I do Tuesday Night Lives at 7.30 Eastern Time, and I would love to see you over there. So thanks for joining me today, and you guys have a great and blessed day. Bye-bye.